we were sitting in the boat one evening, as we sometimes do, wondering how to pay the bills, when Sandra said, why don't we make a stall and sell donuts at the market? So I drew this little picture. And then almost instantly, we'd managed to buy this wonderful contraption on US eBay. It's a donut batter dispenser, and it's brilliant. Clever levers go up and down when you turn the handle, and batter comes out at the bottom. But not just a dollop of batter, a ring of batter. Unfortunately, it wasn't cheap. And by the time we paid for the shipping and the thing in the first place, and then the import tax into Ireland, the entire budget for the project has gone. So, if this is ever going to work, everything from now on will have to be made on a shoestring, starting with the fryer. Now, it seems the fryers are usually a long tank, and the donut batter goes in at one end and is moved along through the hot oil, and then the donuts are cooked on the way, and then they're lifted out at the other end somehow. About halfway along, they have to be flipped over. This is the way millions of donuts are made every day. And we we're just aiming for a few dozen, so how hard can it be? So I thought we could maybe use this lovely old fish kettle. But then I decided it was a bit too short and not enough donuts would be cooking at the same time. So, and I couldn't work out what else I could make that would be long enough or longer. So then I thought perhaps we could use a circular one and it would still fit lots of donuts in but the advantage would be that it would just need one motor in the middle turning things around and not two or three like the other sort. Looking around for something suitable I found this hot water cylinder and I chopped the top off. There was a debate about what sort of solder was used to make it and would it take the high temperatures needed so we tried it outside in the garden and used by binoculars to check the temperature from a safe distance, just in case. It's my young friend who um, was interested in the project, who was hoping it would blow up, I think, but it didn't. Having passed that test, I trimmed the top off with the angle grinder. And then I used my homemade ring roller to roll some steel into a ring. I love that machine and then welded it all together and I did some bits and cut off some bits. And in the end I had this curious shaped crown with a couple of simple cams. I tried out some aluminium strips for paddles but in the end, I decided some forks would work. And the forks just have a single hole in them so they can pivot up and down as they go up and down the slopes. And the slopes, or uh, well, the ramps, are just a grilled tray cut up and bent to fit. Time to try it out. That's hot oil. and batter in the machine. Turn the handle and off we go. Sorry about the pictures, the camera was full of water. It's just been so soggy here. Donut goes up the ramp. Donut reaches the top of the ramp. Donut is pushed off the ramp, but it doesn't tip over. After some adjustment of the ramp, we finally have the same thing. So, tried it again and adjusted it a bit more and yay! Success! Then the fork gets stuck and then the next one doesn't turn over. And so, it was very fiddly, lots of adjustments and start all over again but then after drying out the camera as well things got a bit better
Hooray! That's the thermometer. Try again. So then I cut up some old box iron and made a frame. And I knocked some nails into a couple of wooden discs and then beheaded them all with the bolt cutters. And a simple cog wheel set. And with that in place, Finally, we have a working prototype. Oh, you've been around already. Hang on. Yes, I know. Come out a really side. dark. Double cooked donut. We still have to perfect the batter. It's a bit soggy looking. But they are sort of donuts. The wooden parts needed replacing, so I made a drawing for Pat, the engineer, and he made me a lovely piece out of aluminium. Expensive, but lovely. And I made some steel cogwheels, and there's a separate film about those coming up. And we're finally getting it. But the ones who are most pleased about this project so far are the hens. They're doing very nicely, thank you very much.